Sega. from the International Robotics Technology Association Executive Office. 42 hours ago, the IRTA Council approved Rust Crew deployment to enter Japan covertly and investigate reports of Amida Corporation's development of human-like robots. Your orders are to enter the Tokyo Bay seawall and infiltrate the lower city slums, rendezvous with the other national squads, and head for Amida. This is a covert operation without the awareness or consent of the Japanese government. You may engage local forces in combat, but IRTA will disavow any involvement. Good luck and Godspeed. Welcome to Japan, brother. That's my welcome, your ugly ass? <laughs> Where's all my dancing geisha girls? You ain't seen what I'm wearing under this wetsuit. Is it lace? Yo, Dan! Let's go over the communication system. Use your radio if you want to respond or say something to me. Well, understand how to use your radio now? Good answer. Keep it up. Next, let's go over our gear, handling weapons and battle techniques. You can skip this if you don't need it. So you want to go over your gear and stuff or not? Okay, let's do this, bro. All right, first shooting. Dan, you see that sign over there? All right then, shoot that sign. You'll have a better chance of hitting your target if you get in a firing posture first. Good shooting, Dan. Someone's been practicing, huh? Don't forget to reload when you get low on ammo. You don't want to be up shit creek without no bullets. You can also get personal with enemies by quickly bashing them with your weapon. Alright, next let's check out your handgun. Take out your handgun and try shooting that sign. Nice. Sure glad you're on our side. Alright, that about does it. Okay, my man. Let's get on with the mission. Get the lead out! Don't forget to grab that yeah. ammo there. Over here! Yo, I was wondering, 
What are your plans after this is all done? You're a bit of a player. Vacation, chicks, tropics? <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Same as it ever was. Well, better get this job done quick then. Why we gotta execute the operation in this shitty weather? Whew. All right, let's go. We should get in touch with HQ too. Beetle 2 to base. Loud and clear, Beetle 2. Line is secure, tracking locked. Current position, 35 degrees, 6356 seconds, by 139 degrees, 7724 seconds. Ah, thanks, Major. Now, how about in English? You're nearing the target infiltration point, smartass. It's less than a click ahead of you. Yeah, we're approaching now. Shouldn't be a problem. Remember, once you're inside the seawall, maintain radio silence. We'll cut this link once you're through. Any famous last words? Yeah, tell your mama I love her. I heard that, Botang. Face out. Already. Got a visual on six. Seven. The flaking us. Major, we're under attack. How about some ground support? This is what we pay you for, Botang. Just get to that rendezvous point. <laughs> You're expecting anything different? Not since they started calling you the survivor. Worst day of my life. Hey, wasn't my idea. Move out! Dan, those things are bad news if they get too close. Stop them by shooting their legs. Bingo! You got it down. Now put it away for good. Now aim for their heads. They can't tell friend from foe after a solid headshot. Go on, blow their metallic brains out. This shit's in the way. Do something about it. Can't fire that bad boy if you ain't got no power. Gotta charge up somehow.
what I'm talking about. Now we can move forward. That bad boy's crazy power, but it takes energy to fire. Don't go shooting it off like crazy. Save it for when you really need it. Damn! A surveillance spot at 12! Careful now. We call reinforcements if it spots us. Shit! There's no end to this! Saying? Oh, shit, that's a Grand Rancher! You don't have the firepower to take that down! That's all I needed to hear. Run! Man, they just don't give up! Come on, hustle! No stopping! Hammer through them! Shit, don't these assholes ever give up? They're almost at the seawall, Beetle 2. Cutting comms. Now. Go on, I'll cover you. Age before beauty, my friend. Everyone's a goddamn comedian. No! The Seagate's gonna open to let the tanker in. Bet we could hitch a ride. We have to time this perfect or we're shit out of luck. Go for a fast grab. Ready? And the place is crawling with surveillance bots. We're dead meat if they spot us. Okay, here's the plan. We move forward stealthily, hiding in the shadow. Shit, there's no end to this! We got surveillance spots! Dan, take cover underwater. Ooh, we dodged a bullet there. Now we gotta hurry, make up for lost time. Over here, bro! What do you say? Good exercise, huh? Get in shape? Save the world. We got our priorities straight. They spot us if we come out there. Sit tight a little longer. Let's go! The gate's open! Come here! I mean now! to this. Easy, huh? Now we just chill out. Hold on tight, bro. OK. 
Okay. Job done. Hoping to touch more chilled on the flip side. Got my doubts though. That's how you do it. Piece of cake. Still, that was a little too flashy for a top secret op. Dan, time for the wire gun. Alright, think of these as our express elevators. Take aim! All right, let's not waste time getting through here. Hey, is it my birthday or something? Listen up. Issuing tactical commands is the key to busting out of here. So, you wanna go over how it's done? Alright, let's go over. Alright, time for the first command. I want you to say, fire, now. Hardly advanced tactics, bro. The word is, fire. I want you to say, fire, now. Ah, forget it. I see the guests are still arriving. Shame they brought guns instead of gifts. Damn, grenade him! Damn, I'll be back to the enemy with the deep core while you unload on it. Don't give up! 
boy! Give it to you, big bro! I'm expecting for the decoy! You blast it, aight? Damn! That elevator's our ticket! the push, brother. That wasn't a very warm welcome. Guess this one's all business and no pleasure. Over here! Oh, hey, check this out. An ammo transit supply terminal. Looks like we can spend our credits here. It's too damn quiet here. Keep your eyes peeled. Shit, I knew it! Watch out for that machine gun fire! Dan, aim for the gas cylinder! Some real skills, man. That's what we need. Keep it up. Huh? Seriously, bro. What's with that attitude? Man up and let's boogie. Ah! Shit, a dead end? Ain't there some way we can get past here? What the hell's that? Some kind of control panel? I get it. We can use it as a bridge to the other side. That's it, brother. Keep it up. Leave the enemy to me. You focus on that crane. over to the other side. Huh. 
All right. No sign of more scrap heads. So no rush, brother. We got time to catch our breath. We're definitely headed the right way. Be out of this place soon. And then time for the main event. You ready to party? Feels good to be working together again. Hard to believe we're both still alive after all this time. But I got a hunch we'll get through this one too. You feel me? That's my boy. Let's move out. You take point, brother. Watch out, got a mean looking customer here. Just keep coming. Oh, brother, we got a lot. Eyeballs out there. What do you say? Blitz them? Thought you might say that. Ready when you are. Go as soon as you open that door. Okay, here we go. Fire! Man, they just don't give up! You need glasses or what? You need glasses or what?
just have to open this big ass gate. It'll only open if we pull these levers together. All right, let's pull. Company, and it's not looking friendly. Close, but it's pretty slow. Let's make a stand and keep them suckers out. Whew, that was close. Gotta be kidding me. Do we got anything at all that'll damage this thing? First things first, take cover! Shit, this is bad. Gotta do something. Yes! In your face! Now that chance! Get through that door, quick! <clears throat> got him! Not good. The bastard trying to get back up. There's no end to this! What the hell, man? to this. Get over here, quick! A dead end? You gotta be kidding me! Just what we needed. Damn, let's use that big old steel girder to deliver the knockout blow. I'll be the bait. You work the control panel. Hurry! Here he comes. Let him have it. What in the world did you do to 
the bee? Uh, sir? I don't know who this man is! Drop your weapon, this is your first warning. Oh, those ships! Nothing but lies! Drop your weapon, this is your second and final warning. <laughs> Why? Why, you son of a bitch! Why? Externally indistinguishable from humans? When in God's name did robotics get this advanced? The tech to build a robot skinned in a living layer of cells has been around for some time now. It's just been illegal. Well, it's much more than that, gentlemen. The AI is particularly fascinating. Far beyond our products here at Bergen. We can barely even analyze its neural structure. Well now, Mr. Bergen, this is ridiculous. You are supposed to have the most advanced R&D in the world. And now you're telling us that someone is just a teensy bit ahead of you. Only because we haven't been allowed to venture into that potentially lucrative area, General. Perhaps if this government hadn't given in and signed the new Geneva Convention, the United States would be producing such robots already. We're a God-fearing country, Mr. Bergen, and only he may create life. Mr. President, this isn't life. Convincing as it may be, it's still a robot. We call them Hollow Children. If it's indistinguishable from humans, where does the machine end and life begin? Well, this is philosophical bullshit. There are only two things that matter now. Number one, if you did not make this thing, then who did? And number two, why did it come after you? What do we know about this hollow child? It was granted a green card 30 years ago under the name Dominic Barry. 30 years? Jesus H. Christ! If not for yesterday's events, we may never have found out it existed. We're now certain there are more living among us in America. Well, now that's insane. Not really, General. Now just what in the hell do you think you're doing? You see... It would appear that hollow children actually believe they're human. Well, oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> I'm no goddamn. Mr. President. I can think of only one man with the knowledge and resources to build this robot. Dr. Yoji Amada. Huh. Recognized genius in the field of AI and founder of Amada, Japan's largest robotics corporation. You don't sound too sure. So this photograph is 40 years old. Amada hasn't been seen in public since. That's crazy. He'd be 80 years old by now. The Amada Corporation is in league with Japan's new order. I read about them. Isolationists. Self-sufficiency, that's right. Yes, sir. They wield a lot of influence over the Ministry of Homeland Affairs. And you really think they're behind this infiltration? Besides myself, Amada is the only man I know who's capable of this. Get me the IRTA in Geneva. <laughs> Woo! There's our way out, man! Yeah. What a plan, huh? Right? Right. This part of your big plan, too? 
Whoa. What the hell is that? Base to Beetle 2. We've re-established the comm. Do you read? Loud and clear, Major, but make it fast! We have detected multiple rapid and intense heat signatures near the seawall. Looks like a large-scale battle. And? Well, radio chatter indicates that the Ministry is trying to flush out the resistance. That's all fascinating, Major, but we got a situation over here. Go! Stay on the seawall for a while. Right now, outside the wall, it's crawling with security. Oh, no, it kills us! Thanks for nothing, Major! <laughs> so much for our covert up. Take them out! Whoa! Talk about a close one! Dan, watch out for those pipes! Whoa! How far are we gonna slide? I ever tell you I hate thrill rides? Yeah! We ever gonna stop? This is the last time I listen to HQ! Isn't this over yet? Today just sucks! Whoa! Too fast, man! Shit! Looks like we plowed through it! That don't look good. Jump for it! Hey, are you all right? Huh? Anything broken? Just my inner peace. <laughs> Let's keep moving. <laughs> No damn! Hi! So this is the resistance HQ was talking about. Damn! Of all the shit to stumble into! Man, this ain't fair. We ain't part of no resistance. Oh, well, maybe they're flushing out illegal aliens, too. I'll handle this. Base to Beetle 3, do you read? Kinda busy here, Major. Sit rep. Oh, never better. Where the hell is our rendezvous point? Just keep going in that direction. We're almost there. Roger that. Dan, check it out. Enemy transport. <laughs> they just keep coming and coming. Assholes should at least bring six back with. Man, they just don't give up. Reloaded. That shit. Ain't nothing able to bring you down. Revel in it, man. You earned it. Come on, bro. Let's do this.
Better watch out for an enemy ambush. Sniper, take cover! I'll act as a decoy while you take those snipers out. Take out those snipers. My life's in your hands, brother. Here goes nothing. Sniper at 12 o'clock. Sniper at 9 o'clock. at 11 o'clock. Got him. Good shooting, brother. Rendezvous point ain't far now. Finally get to meet our new British friend. Philip said the guy's ex-MI6. A real agent, not some pencil pusher. So watch your back, all right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Multinational unit sounds all fine and dandy, but everyone's got their own agendas. And that includes us. You and me, brother. We trust each other and nobody else. It is what it is. Whoa, listen to me. We getting old, brother. Stop me if I'm boring you. Well, pardon fucking me. Sorry to spoil your day. All right, 
Enough chatter. Let's get busy. Greeting party. So let's say hello. Hey, what are you trying to do? Hey, what are you trying to do? Man! You all right, Dan? You need my help? Got it! Hang on! What the hell, man? Yeah, I'm fine, bro. This ain't nothing. No, they're human. And how in the hell can you tell that? How in the hell can't you? Look at them. They're just kids. Huh. Weapon scavengers. Never seen them start this young. Nice guns. I could get a lot of money for those. Why don't you hand them over? Kid, it's two on one. And these guns are way bigger than yours. <laughs> huh? So much for two on one. Yeah. You know, killing kids isn't my idea of fun. Drop them. Now. Utsuno, dosuno. Iyo, mo koroshichou yo, nii-chan. They ain't green. Reckon they wanna light us up. I wonder what their parents would be thinking of them now! Hey! I said drop your weapons! Are you deaf?
Oh, I guess it wasn't quite finished. Happens sometimes with scrapheads. Seen a lot of good soldiers taken out like that. Now you were saying about our guns? Nah, I figure we owe you one now. So I've changed my mind. Well, how about that? Pretty dangerous work for kids. We do what we have to. Resistance pays good money for these scraphead weapons. Food on the table, you know. You should find a new line of work for these kids. Seems like most of them have forgotten how to smile. Like any of us has a choice. Look around you, Yankee man. No future! Come on, Dan. Ain't nothing we could do. Damn, look at this place. Anyone attacks now, we're gonna look like burger patties. All part of the thrill, right, brother? I'm telling you, man. Live around here long enough and we'd all wind up looking like them kids back there. No hope, no future. How did it all end up this way, man? Base? Where's that Rondi? Should be at your two o'clock. Look for a flashlight. Over there! Man needs new batteries. It's Morse code. I ain't seen that in years. What's next? Smoke signals? Whoa! We got company! <laughs> Let's give them a warm welcome. They're in the air, too! This is bullshit! I got the aerial units. I'm gonna blast them out of the sky. Company. <laughs> Let's give them a warm welcome. They're in the air, too. This is bullshit. I got the aerial units. Gonna blast them out of the sky. <laughs> Care of the aerial threat. Like that? We ain't no pushovers, bitches!
Aw, oh, shit. Don't this boy ever get tired? <sighs> Shut up and jump! Yeah! Oh, shit. <laughs> That scrap head is really starting to bug me. Fire in the hole! Shit! Oh, whoa! ポンプ長、六本木でもレッドアラートです。警備行動中のグランランサーから機能停止信号。堤防に侵入した連中だな。ええ、そのようです。グランランサーを倒したのか。えらく重装備で来たもんだ。ポンプ長、お台場での画像
the flood layers to rot and decay. But a lot of people had already died as the world collapsed. Who was going to build these incredible new structures? Robots. I call them scrapheads. But then, I've never been a fan. Not that anyone cares what I think. Fact is, we needed robot labor like never before. One company rose to dominate the market. Bergen Advanced Robotics Technology from the USA. Bergen has a 95% share of the global robotics industry. Of course, they didn't get there without ruffling a few feathers. Most famously, the Amada Corporation in Japan sued Bergen for stealing its technology. But by then, Bergen was already huge, and Amada lost its case. That was the last obstacle between Bergen and world domination. Thanks to them, the USA is now the global superpower. In 2040 AD, the world's remaining economic concerns ratified the new Geneva Convention. One of the most controversial parts of it was Clause 21, which banned research into robots that could pass for human, or hollow children, as the media called them. Forty years later, a hollow child attacked Bergen's headquarters in the USA. He didn't just fool the humans. He seemed to have no idea he was a robot himself. I'm Sergeant Dan Marshall. I work for the IRTA, the International Robotics Technology Association out of Geneva. The IRTA set up a global task force called Rust Crews to deal with breaches of the convention, especially Clause 21. We've got full support from the US military, which is where I used to work anyway. <laughs> Some things never change. And that's how me and my partner Bo ended up in Japan. Because the US suspects the hollow child who turned up in America was made by Yoji Amada, legendary robotics genius and the founder of Amada Corporation. We're here to arrest Amada and take him to Geneva any cost. That means we get to knock out any scrappers that try to stop us along the way. <laughs> I sure hope they try. Right, we split the two teams from here onwards. One in the front, one bringing up a rear. Well, at least one team makes it through should the worst happen. Yeah, well, I don't like hanging back, so I'll take point. Might I remind you that I'm in command here? Not that I expect pulling rank would benefit your attitude. So, who do you fancy for your team, Sergeant? All right, you go ahead. Radio us when you reach the contact location. No problem. What if we run into scrapheads? Shoot them. That's what you Yanks are best at, isn't it? You know, Charlie, maybe I could get to like you after all. Mm -hmm. 